Hello guys. This is a general reading for you guys for the upcoming week for my Capricorns. This reading is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. See what's going on for you guys, what you can expect, or get some clarification on. What's going on for Capricorns this upcoming week? What's going on for Capricorns? King of Wands. Somebody owning their shit, being in control of their lives, doing what they need to do here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. It was challenging you guys here. This could definitely be uh, someone that is significant to you. Okay. The Hierophant here. Hmm. That's Taurus energy. What's challenging you is to stand your ground. I feel like some of you guys are being challenged in a situation. I don't know if you're actually being bullied, but I definitely feel like there's a challenge going on, um, like challenging your beliefs or challenging what it is that you decide to do. So there's a need to like stand your ground, um, and if you need to, you need assistance, then ask from uh, for assistance from a higher power. You know, even if you have like an older relative or somebody that you you trust, what it is that uh, the advice that they have to offer. You know, seek counsel if need be. But I feel like this is for you not to let somebody just completely shoot down what it is that you're trying to do and accomplish, okay? What is the underlying issue here for Capricorns? Underlying issue for Capricorn. Six of Cups. Hmm. This has something to do with a soulmate relationship. Um, it could have a lot to do with your children, how you raise your children as well for some of you. How you care for them, how you uh, discipline them. But the issue here is that you're not there's not unity. Somebody's like bucking against you. You guys don't have a unified front here. Scorpio energy. And it could be you and your uh, person that are not unified. You're not together. Um, not getting along. The energy is not balanced. The emotions are not balanced here. What was going on in the recent past for Capricorn? Emperor Aries energy. I feel like you didn't have a hard time before. Like you were you were like well in control of everything. I think you made all the decisions. Um I feel like you guys, like, when you said something, you meant that shit, and, and that was it. But for some reason, I feel like you're being challenged. For some of you, this is to kind of let go of control a little bit and hear somebody else out, hear their feelings out, um, how they feel about a situation, to take somebody else's point of view into consideration. So for some of you is, is to not let somebody shut you completely down to, to where you won't be heard. And for others of you, this is for you to actually kind of open up a little bit and consider what somebody else is saying here. This has everything to do with having a unified front, uh, getting along, compromising, that sort of thing. Okay. Crowning thoughts for Capricorn. Crowning thoughts for Capricorn. Ten of Cups. You want to be happy. 
you want to be happy. I think a lot of you guys are used to being in control. But I feel like this is about letting go a little bit of the control issue here. So you can get on the same page, so you can get along, so you can be happy. Because this involves your soulmate. Okay. For some of you, I see that um, there is a question of marriage here. Somebody wants to get married and the other person is bucking against that. I feel like somebody is is threatening to leave or um, staying gone is threatening to stay gone. You know, <clears throat> what's coming in for Capricorn? Ace of Wands, starting over, proposing something, starting something new. You know, if this is a situation where um, marriage is out of the question for you, I think a lot of you guys are considering that. If it's a situation where, you know, you held the reins and you held the control in the relationship, I think you're releasing that. You're doing something new here with the Ace of Wands. So something can grow. How is Capricorn viewing this situation? Four of Wands. I think this person makes you happy. I think you want to make them happy as well. You want them to be happy. You want you guys to be happy together. You want your home to be happy. You want a stable living environment here. I feel like a lot of you guys do want to make something right here. Strong Aries energy here. Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus is here. Okay. Could also be Leo, I'm feeling. <clears throat> you want a happy home to come home to? What is the influence here for Capricorn? Hmm. This is that devil energy. The devil. I feel like this is all about control issues and 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 not fully being able to let go of that. It makes you uncomfortable, I feel. That is the way that you have been um, maneuvering for a while and I feel like when when you don't have control over things it makes you truly un uncomfortable because shit could go haywire like you have to 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 like keep a rein on certain things and I think that's what this is <clears throat> hopes or fears for Capricorn Page of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, this is your fear is that you won't be able to step outside of your zone, of your comfort zone, you know, and do this shit differently. Reconsider something. Or either that person won't reconsider, that person won't come back and want to. Um, you know, try this with you. Try something different with you if they're already gone. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. <clears throat> Overall outcome here for Capricorn. Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy there. I feel that something's really going to push you to your limit. This situation is going to push you to your limit. 
and I feel a lot of you um, a lot is in my vocabulary <laughs> because I don't feel like it's a lot of you I got the hiccups now but I feel like for some of you, this is a situation where it's almost like you're, you're forced to walk away from because uh, this person is not responding in the way that you want them to. Or they're not giving it a chance. They're not giving you a chance to show something different here. It's really weighing on you. For others of you, this right here is what's weighing on you. This double energy that I was staring at earlier this is weighing on you because you really don't know what to do I think you're used to a certain way of existing with this person and it's like being forced to change something that it, 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 it's, it's a part of you basically this is your card hmm. so that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Namaste.